extra, extra, read all about it. Capricorn, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is not a horoscope. It is an energy reading, which means that this is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, wherever Capricorn energy influences your natal chart or influences your life. So this could be if it's in somebody in if you're dealing with a Capricorn, if it's if it's an outside influence, this is for you. This is a part a two part reading. So we start here with an energy uh, reading, which brings out all the themes, um, and then it continues in an extended reading, a full tarot card spread to articulate and extrapolate details, and specifics, persons, places, things, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That also includes a romance reading, which I'll give you a little glimpse into over here as well. Uh, there's a new Capricorn specific video every single week, so. If you want it fresh off the press, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and you'll get notified as soon as all the videos you love are uploaded. All right, Capricorn, let's get into it. I should say thank you so much for your continued support of the channel because you guys are the bomb. So thank you. Capricorn, Capricorn. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Capricorn energy for Capricorn, please. Capricorn sun, moon rising. Capricorn energy. Capricorn energy. It's coming out. Capricorn. Okay, so there's a tr transition that you're going through that's having a hard time taking flight. But it's not. Okay. It's having a hard time taking wing. It's almost like it's it's having a hard time allowing itself to acknowledge that it's changed, it's different. You're having a hard time with a transition. You're having a hard time with a switch or a change. Now this switch or a change is not just a change of clothes, okay? This is a change that influences and affects your entire life. Could be, especially for you guys, how you make money. What you do to pay your bills. Because that is something that is... Um, integral to who you are, to how you identify yourself and how your world feels correct. So Capricorn, this is something that affects you really close to home. So it could also be something actually going on in the home, a love life transition or a transition between life and death, meaning that you're losing somebody or you've just lost somebody and you're dealing with that loss. But there is more of a sense of your whole life transitioning. And that is very difficult for you. You are not the most malleable energy you that's that's your beauty is that your steadfast energy you set the laws you set the rules you set the constructs you set the traditions you set the institutions that's what you are you are Saturn he sets the rules that's what he does and so changing and being malleable is not really in your DNA it's not that you can't do it it's that it's difficult for you and you're in the middle of a transition right now that really influences and affects everything that you are so it's literally like I'm getting this I'm getting this card right here transition is beautiful but it came all out like this now it's on its way up it wasn't all the way down but it's on its way up so that means that yeah you know what you're trying you're trying and you're taking baby steps I have to say this those are great I don't I've said this time and time again the universe does not judge us for how quickly we move you know whether we get there when we're four or whether we get there when we're 14 or 40 it don't it matter what matters is that we consistently keep taking steps in the direction that the universe wants us to go so it's okay if you move slowly but there is a sense of resistance that is not okay a sense of i don't trust this i don't want to be here i want things to change back to the way that they used to clinging on holding on to a sense of what is supposed to be when what is supposed to be is no longer and that is the, the conundrum like the difficulty and the challenge that you are facing right now and I have to say this, it's, it's overtaking, this is your crowning energy. So it's like, it's overtaking your whole life. It's, it's influencing and affecting the way you see everything, which means it could be also making you more afraid for other things. For example, say this was about your life, your job, your career, right? Um, there's a sense of this now because it's knocked you into a place where you don't feel secure. 
you are questioning your love life you're questioning your friendships you're questioning it's it's this this integral part of your life that is in shift is making you question everything making you feel unsafe in all ways and that's not so good to be honest with you it's not so good um it it's a uh, it, it's not being, this challenge isn't being given to you, Capricorn, to break you down. It's being given to you because it's the next stage. It's time. That's what it is. Like, of all signs, you can understand it's time. It's time to make this change. That's the only reason it's happening, because it's time. And, and it's not a persecution. It's not a punishment. It is just time. And I think that... In so many ways, Capricorns, you believe that somehow you control time because Saturn does control time, right? At least earthly 3D time. But we stop to think that just because you're ruled by Saturn, you are not Saturn yourself. So you don't control time. You are still very much controlled by time. And because, you know, you think I can schedule everything out. I can plan everything. It's like you implement that satanic, that Saturnian energy in everything that you do. But then something happens and it's like, no, I decide. Like the universe is coming and saying, I decide. This is not on you now. I say what's time and what's not. It's almost like you are so used to setting the time that you forget you don't control time. You are controlled by it and influenced by it just like everybody else. So there is a sense of really feeling like your 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 self shift now and being very uncomfortable with it. Um, um, uh, it's time to take a deep dive. This is a sense of having your head under the water, putting your head back under the pillow, trying to, yes, this is a beautiful romantic energy, uh, Libra energy, love and romance, but this is a sense of getting lost in it, almost getting lost in hype or getting lost in sensationalism because you're scared and this is a place that you're retreating to. This could also be a sense of holding on to a bad love or holding on to a circumstance or putting your head under the pillow and not seeing the issues, the problems, or how your relationship is struggling because, because you don't want change or you don't want any more change in your life. Um, this is also upside down Libra energy, more Libra energy upside down, which means your partnerships and your connections and how you're connecting with people is really disorganized right now. You could be feeling really away or apart from the people that you love, really disconnected from them. Um, and that could be throwing you for a loop too, a sense of everybody in your life not being solid anymore or, you know, relationships that you've depended on switching and changing, a sense of not really being being able to find any joy that you used to because part of the joy that you as you experience it is being able to rely on things and now it's not necessarily like these people or how much they love you have changed but their stability in your life their place in your life is shifting and so it's almost like you they're not as beautiful as they used to be it's not as perfect as it used to be because that thing that you need which is security is not there anymore it's not necessarily that they have changed it's that the circumstance or the place that they feel in your life has and it's making you uncomfortable uh you are never alone so this is a sense of you are still loved there's still togetherness here this is a sense of your heart your heart space could actually be health as well but more i'm getting because we have so much libra energy this is companionship this is partnership this is love needing the feeling of security and home a sense of you are still loved you absolutely are still loved, but there's a shakeup in the people that you love. There, yeah, there's like there's, um, I don't know what the shakeup is. I don't think it's necessary. Um, whatever it is, I can say this to you. Like something, it's almost like it could be that, you know, that they're not as, not as I want to say they're not as beautiful as they used to be, but they're not, um, it's not as fresh as it used to be. No, that's not it either. It's like it's not going in the same direction that you thought it was. And it's making you unhappy to the point where you're burying your head instead of facing it. Okay. You are really, really trying. It's not necessarily... 
let's put it this way. You are slowing down this change so much you hope that you convince it to not happen. But I don't think that that is really the case. I don't, I don't think that it's really the case where you're going to be able to convince this change to not happen. But you're slowing it down, basically pacing yourself, to, to basically convincing yourself that you're pacing yourself. But you're not. You're trying to make it go away. You're trying to deny that it's happening. Um, because it's, it's sort of offensive to your heart. This is your central energy is tend to the small things. Something has been growing. Something has been building for a long time. And now it's finally broken through the walls. This is a sense of where there is one mouse, there is 400 in the walls. So there is an infestation here. And this is your central energy of maybe trying to, maybe trying, like feeling like everything you do is really small compared to everything around you that's really large. Feeling like you don't really have much influence over what's happening in your life right now and any effort you make doesn't get you very far. But this is a sense of looking at the details, tending to the small things. And it could be that you tended too much to the small things and forgot about the overall picture because the overall picture is what's shifting and changing. And you're still focused on the details thinking that you can control them. Um, but, but the details will shift as the big picture does. Capricorn. Okay. Excellent. Three more cards. Nope. Four more cards. Set healthy boundaries. This burden is weighing you down. A sense of, def the, the, the sense of protecting yourself and defending yourself is the weight that you're feeling. So if you've been feeling a weight on your shoulders, you've been feeling uh, life getting heavier, it's actually the fact that you're fighting the change that's causing the weight. That's what it, that's what it's coming from. It's, it's, is something that you can control, but that would mean letting go of control. And that's the big burden for you. That's what's really uh, weighing you down, like pressuring you. There's Cancerian energy here too. It's almost like you're protecting yourself from feeling deeper emotions, or you may be protecting yourself from, um, you're protecting yourself from somebody that makes you feel deeper emotions, a sense of trying to maintain a, a safe distance from hurting too much or feeling too much. Um, give with gratitude and grace. Uh, six plus one is seven. These are two extremes here. This is a sense of throwing your whole self in, throwing yourself on the chopping block, giving it all, giving everything, but then basically decimating yourself. So there is a sense of once again, setting healthy boundaries, not really knowing really you, what you're doing is you're trying to reestablish everything is changing. Well, then I need new boundaries. Which one, how do I set a healthy boundary in an ever shifting circumstance? So there is a sense of really not knowing what new boundaries to set and what boundaries to take down or what boundaries to build thick or what boundaries to build thin. But, and, and you run the risk and what you're trying to avoid is just not building any boundaries at all and giving your whole self over and not getting anything out of the circumstance or the situation. Um, and then you have turn knowledge into wisdom. So following your intuition, wolf energy is Piscean energy, a sense of there could be a very giving energy in your life. Somebody who is trying to protect themselves or defend themselves, not against you, but against giving too much to you, um, or you could be doing this to them. Um, but there is a sense of something coming, something that's inevitable, something that you can feel happening. Um, maybe even in a way not knowing the full story about what's going on or um, do you hear the rain? I love it. Um, uh, understanding completely fully like the shift that's going on. So you really have to connect deeply with your intuition and basically just um, I th like like it's not even necessarily just going with the flow. It's connecting very deeply with your intuition to because that's like the only like like foothold that you have right now is your intuition uh the miracles are endless so this is the energy of six which is love and love and connection and partnership 
Um, there is an abundance here of material resources. This is Taurus energy uh, being very beneficial. Finally, being selected, being chosen, having a wonderful opportunity that's coming to you. This is your grounding energy. Um, I think your grounding energy is a sense of what you want out of life. You still know what you want out of life and you want it all. <laughs> There's no compromise there, Capricorn. But then we have some other cards flipped upside down. Let's review them. So there's somebody's mask is coming off. Um, some answers are finally being revealed. Something hasn't been completely revealed to you right now, but there is uh, something that's going to be... Um, um, and it was destiny. You see the energy of eight? This is divine timing. So Capricorn, the answers to your questions couldn't come out before now. It literally had to... Um, Taurus. Okay. Taurus season is coming up. No, we're in Taurus season now. Taurus season just began at the end of April as we head into May. So there could be some hidden abundance or answers coming into your life throughout Taurus season. Co-create with spirit, but it's flipped upside down. A sense of, um, oh, something still being off, something still being hidden. Hold on. Let me see what else is coming out. Be loyal to what you love. Um, energy of 10. This is Cancerian energy also in reverse. I think you're feeling like you're losing. Or you're starting to see somebody or a situation or relationships in a different way and know your worth, feeling very compromised, almost feeling like you have to be something other than yourself to be accepted or feeling for the first time like somebody that you could trust, you can't trust anymore. Almost feeling like they're a different person, like you don't know them. That's, just, that's what it is. It's almost like a person or a situation that you've trusted a long time is very destabilized. And this is why you're feeling so shaky because your grounding energy, what was grounding you is now you're questioning it. It's all in question. You, you don't, maybe it's your job. I really feel like this is a person because usually when dog spirit comes out, it's a one person. It's somebody that you, there was a deep spiritual connection to this person, but it's like their mask has come off. Certain things about them have come out and it's, it's challenging you. It's challenging how you feel about yourself. It's challenging how you feel about your world. Um, it's making your world kind of uh, shaky. There is a sense of um, co-create with spirits. Um, uh, yes, no, somebody's changing. Somebody in your life is changing in Taurus season. So this is like, get ready, Capricorn, get ready because it's all happening now. It's happening in this moment. Somebody is going is not who you thought they were or and it's not even necessarily it's not even necessarily intentional deception as much as it is um you never having seen the side of a person before and it making you feel crappy um could have to do with something with finances as well a financial circumstance between you and a person revealing another side of them um, a side that you makes you sad and makes you worry. Hold on. So I tried to like leave the energies the way that they came out, which is why I've kept the card in the direction that it is. It's like it wants to go back, right? The crowning energy is I want to go back. I want to go back to a place where things were simpler and expected and controlled. And it's that resistance, that feeling of not being able to let go that is actually causing this heavy, heavy burden and this imbalance. Um, there could also be a sense of... Um, Burying, like I said, burying your head or love lost, beauty gone in a circumstance or a situation that you were building up to be something that you thought was going to be reliable, but it turned out that it's now crumbling. There is this sense, once again, of a person, uh, th like, like the mask coming off, the veil coming off when it comes to finances. It could very well be finances finally, like, um, like finances shifting or, you know, they're not they're In other words, the way that you, the, well, definitely 
the way that you used to rely on finances, the way that you used to depend on it, your relationship with them has become very, your relationship with finances or somebody, uh, okay, first let's do this. Your relationship with finances has destabilized. Um, but it could very well be that your relationship with a specific person has destabilized because of finances. So I'm going to go into the full tarot card spread to articulate all this energy. But let's get a preview right now of what the romantic energy for Capricorn is. Because we're going to go into your full romantic reading as well. Capricorn, Capricorn in love and romance. Capricorn, Capricorn, in love and romance. Uh, okay. Capricorn, in love. Lots of cards came out, Capricorn. <laughs> I'm going to leave them right there, too, man, waiting for the full reading. But the card that's here first is received with love and appreciation. Gracious acceptance is a way to show love. So this either has to do with accepting a new offer into your love life, a new offer's coming in, or just accepting somebody's phase in life right now, accepting what they're going through. And even if they could give you only little bits, accepting that could very well be, um, it's the acceptance of a circumstance that is, is blocking you or lack of being able to accept a circumstance with the one that you love or with love in general is, is, is blocking you from really feeling abundant and happy because there is offers coming in, or there is energy of love coming towards you. It's just how do I receive them? So Capricorn, I'm going to head on over. The extended link is below. I'll see you over there.